Hi there. Um, this talk is going to be about a lot of different things, you know. Like I say, I don't sometimes I plan what I'm going to say. Sometimes I've really got to say something, but then so, sometimes a lot of the time when he talks like this, where I'm not plan on anything. Now, as you can see by the pictures I put up, the first picture, you know, is about vitamin D, vitamin C. And over the last week, I've started taking vitamin D and vitamin C. Um, you know, I, I watch, um, a, you know, a doctor on YouTube. You can look him up, Dr. John Campbell. It was a friend on, on, on the internet who put me on to him. And I watch his videos and, and that's how I got into the vitamin D stuff. And I can't remember if it was today or yesterday, but I was watching David Icke's, one of his, his latest video, and he says that he takes vitamin C, and I started to look vitamin C up, and I thought, oh, I fancy, I think I'll take that as well. Um, and so, in about a week, you know, I've, I've, I wasn't taking anything like that, and now it's, I'm taking two. But this video is really, I, I want to talk about my path, I want to talk about what it showed me. And the picture here is about M, is MDMA. Now, I was watching this guy last week on YouTube who is trying to make it legal. Because um, in America they give ex-soldiers MDMA to help deal with post-traumatic stress and they talk about the problems when they're on it. Now, MDMA, and there's, I'm not the only one to say this, is the feelings of mindfulness. So this talk is really going to be about ascension. It's going, I'm, I'm really wanting to talk about how to induce these feelings. It's the same with DMT. You know, these things can all be induced because everything is actually one thing. So therefore, there's no separation. I don't perceive any separation. This unexpected spiritual awakening changed my perception from separation, and I'm separate in ego, to it's all one. Now, if you research MDMA and the people that talk about it and the feelings that it produces, they all say the ego is pushed aside and that there's that's when you open up. This is the same thing as what meditation does and spiritual awakening and ascension. What happens when you have that, un that unexpected spiritual awakening? You can do it right now, it's a choice. You just look within yourself. You just let your heart space lead the way instead of the head. And when you have that awakening, your ego starts melting. And it's the same feel, it's the same state, it's mindfulness. That all the the MDMA drug is doing is pushing away the um, ego and then you're left with, with, with love that's the, that's the blockage you see and this is why reality is set up the way that it is this is why they promote this is what I said the other day about doctors doctors, good medical doctors see the pixels in the picture but they don't see where everything's going, they don't see the whole picture when you spiritually awaken, and when you're going through this process, you're seeing things from a wider perspective. And anyone can choose to do it. You know, it's a choice. It's just that I was very depressed, and I was pushing to a corner when I had to make a decision. And then I had the awakening. It was, but I realize now that, and I realized from that, that we wake up, awaken spiritually when we decide, when it's, it's an inward decision. But when you do that, and then you, you're, you're letting your heart space lead the way, because it's all about the heart space. Because in the heart space is your feelings, your intuition, your insight, your knowing. The head is full of ego. But when you go within your heart space, you ascend to this mindfulness, which is the same feelings as MDMA, and this is how you induce these feelings naturally. It's always better naturally because drugs are all bad for you. You know, anything to do with chemicals, you know, can all, is always going to have a bad thing to the body. That's why I'm against vaccinations, because I, I know and I've known people that have, I've known people that have, like, died of alcohol, for example, and that's legal. And I know what drugs do to people, and, and legal drugs as well. They're worse. 
they're worse than um, than anything else than illegal drugs. And so, so you don't want to be taking the MDMA either. What you what I think MDMA can show us and has shown us is what we want to really feel. And through that, how do we feel that naturally? Well, you've got to get na- back to your natural state which is the MDMA. That's why it is it being illegal, you see, and is illegal. And they're trying to make it legal now, but they don't. But there's, there'll be people that don't want that because they'd rather two people fighting in the street who've been drinking all night than people all loved up in a, in a rave and feeling joy and love. They don't want that because that can awaken you spiritually. Some people have actually, the stories, and, and many people say it, that people can wake up through taking drugs and um, you know it can expand your awareness that's what the, the system doesn't want but um, this video is really about about that about how to induce these things see drugs have shown us what we want to feel but the thing is we don't want to take a drug but there's ways to induce it yourself because you can be any frequency you want to be Right? It's all to do with a conscious decision within yourself, like a spiritual awakening, and then you get what you want. You get what you want when you decide. This is what Will Smith says about um, law of attraction, and it's true. But it's a, it's not an, a head decision, it's a conscious, within decision, it's an instinctive thing. When we decide what we want, then it happens. And... Um, the, you know, when you start to go within your heart space and you're being more open, and this is what I spoke about now in, in the Heart Math Institute, in the way to, to evolve your immune system, is by going within your heart space, heart-based living, and that presents harmonious feelings of love. And then what happens is that he, that sends electrical harmonious signals through the body, which heals it. Negative emotions like stress um, ruin the body and can bring on and will bring on illnesses. It's like when you're stressed, and um, what happens is for a lot of people is they'll get a feeling in their neck, like stiffness. And once you calm down, that that energy will then flow away. That's because it blocks energy. But once you start to be more open in your heart space, which is what you're doing in spiritual awakening, and and you can do it right now if you choose that. Once you're going through that process, you start, to, this is how you induce MDMA feelings naturally, which is mindfulness. And mindfulness is, is when you've got all this clarity, understanding, and what it's doing is it's evolving you. That's why MDMA is a being illegal because it evolves you spiritually, but it's bad for your body. But mindfulness, like I say, the same thing as MDMA, that's what it does, it It evolves you spiritually because you're so clear. When you're clear, that's when you're evolving at the fastest rate because you're so, you understand so much. But that's how you do it. You, You go within your heart, you look for the deepest truths in things, you look for the deepest insights, the deepest understanding. You go with knowing instead of believing. And this is when you're going by your heart space and this is when you're going with mindfulness. And this is how, like I say, this is how you induce um, loved up feelings like MDMA type feelings naturally. And then when you're feeling like this, this is when you evolve, you, you evolve super quick when you're in this state. And, um, and I just wanted to do a video on that really. And regarding me and my path, you know, um, it start, you know, I, I don't want to go into it. I, I don't, probably don't have the time, but it was unexpected awakening, and then one thing led to another. And you know, it's it's like the awareness changed in me, and then everything else changed. And that's it. That's that's, and that is how the system controls us. It controls our awareness. Therefore, that controls everything else. And you control someone's awareness by controlling their perceptions. And um, that's that's it. And I try and just pass this message, this this information on to help other people spiritually awaken so that they know how to do it themselves. Um, 
because there's a war on. You know, when you go out just now, look at all the coronavirus, it looks like wartime just now. It looks like wartime against humanity. That's what it looks like. You go to any shop now, that's what it looks like. It looks like a war against humanity. And everything, remember, everything comes from the top. Got to remember that. Everything comes from the top. And when you wake up, when you do awaken spiritually, you start to perceive that. You start to think, oh my, you start to perceive that, you start to perceive the whole picture, like I said earlier. Medical doctors, good medical doctors, see the pixels in the picture, but not the whole picture. And so people need to think of this and question them. And listen to them also, because some of them are good and some of them mean well, but remember, they're probed, they're brainwashed also. Because everything comes from the top. Like um, David Icke talks about the reptilian brain. Now, the reptilian brain is actually a real thing. There's a part in our brain that is called the reptilian brain, and that is the part that is fearful and is all about survival. And that's the part that the system is trying to operate. So when you open your mind, you, you realize there's infinite potential of what can be, so reptilians could exist. They could, and there's lots of history about it, and there's lots of information about it, and so... I'm not saying I believe in reptilians, but I'm saying it's... If there's infinite potential of what can be, then put this possible. And... Um, you know, it's... I, I'm open to this, and it's always better... Well, see, when you're more open-minded, this is when you're expanding your awareness. I was talking earlier about MDMA. This is what happens when you research MDMA. The people that talk about it say that what happens, and this is why ex-soldiers with post-traumatic stress can deal with the problems, because their awareness is expanded. Therefore, they're able to face their problems. So they're, so they're basically in a state of meditation without actually meditating. And the deeper truth is that you don't actually have to meditate to be meditation. Meditation is our natural state. Meditation is, is, the, is the transcendental state that we are in naturally when we are present. So you don't have to do a course on trans... You know, they say, oh, do a, you need to do a course on transcendental meditation. No, you don't, because transcendental is what you naturally are. In meditation, you naturally are that. But they want everything in courses to make you think that you need the system for everything. But that's why this awakening is ruining their little game because the, the, awake, the global awakening has shown people from people that are have been going through spiritual awakenings are letting people know that all is within you and you don't need anything outside of you. When you think you need something outside of you, you're telling yourself you're not enough and that's the game. That's the game the system wants to play. Um, convince you that you're not enough when actually all is within you. And like I say, once you start opening yourself up like that and believing in yourself, you start expanding your awareness and um, and you return to your natural state, which is, which is meditation. And you become transcendent and transcendental with everything that you're that you've experienced in the past and currently experiencing and you have, you're evolving super fast once you start working in presence. And this is, like I say, how you induce MDMA feelings naturally. Because every feeling, like I say, that, 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 that exists, you can be that because you are the infinity of everything. Everyone is infinity. And I'm just going to leave it there. And if you're watching, I always say this, if you're watching, you're meant to watch it, everything falls to divine order and divine timing. Thank you for watching. Thank you.